Today, I want to discuss an aspect of the abortion debate that's particularly disturbing and that most people probably are very unaware of. And that is the fact that many times in Canada, in the United States and around the world, babies are actually born alive during abortion procedures and then left to die. And this caught my attention recently. Those of you who follow LifeSiteNews.com will know that LifeSite News has several reporters on the ground in San Francisco uh, to cover the trial of David Delayden, Sandra Merritt, Troy Newman, and a number of pro-lifers involved with the Planned Parenthood uh, baby body part scandal. This is the scandal that broke in 2015, uh, basically revealing the fact that the abortion industry was harvesting organs from babies and then selling them to biomedical companies. And one of the things that's just... I didn't think I could get more shocked by this story, to be honest. I I reported on the story at the time. I've watched hours of footage from the Center for Medical Progress. But they actually have an abortionist on the stand in San Francisco to confirm that what the pro-lifers are saying is correct. That uh, organizations like Planned Parenthood are altering the abortion procedure in order to harvest intact organs. You'll remember that one video talked about crushing the baby above and crushing the baby below the the organs you want to keep intact for sale. And... And the, Dr. Forrest Smith, who's an abortionist who's done uh, at least 50,000 abortions, has basically been stating that this is actually going on. He said... Let me read you a quote here from the LifeSite News report on this. The accepted method for this type of abortion is to dilate the cervix by inserting laminaria or seaweed sticks one or two days before the abortion, depending on the baby's gestational age. Misoprostol can act as a cervical preparation agent in small doses of 25 to 100 milligrams to soften the cervix for an induction of a term pregnancy, Smith said, forced to miss being the abortionist. But large doses of 300 to 400 milligrams every three to four hours to induce labor for an abortion as parent Planned Parenthood abortionists were apparently doing will trigger tumultuous labor that will result in fetal expulsion in which the quote fetus comes out without any assistance from the abortion doctor no instrumentation so they're not dismembering it there's no question in my mind that at least some of these fetuses were live births Smith said it gets worse here's what World Magazine reported and this is just brutal On the final day of the hearing, that being the David Daleiden trial, stem cell scientist Teresa Daescher testified that fetal hearts used in studies must be harvested from living babies. She said the heart has to be beating and be arrested in a relaxed position, end quote. If the babies die beforehand, the heart contracts and cannot be used. Basically, to cut through what that means, it means that the baby hearts that are being sold to biomedical companies. This is proven. Uh, By the way, baby body parts are also harvested in Canada as well and used for experimentation, but that these hearts have to be harvested from the chests of living babies. Their hearts have to be cut out while they're beating. This is a monumental barbarism. And this is, this is a discussion happening in open court right now in San Francisco. And what have you heard about this? This should be this should be breaking news on every TV network. It should be on the front page of every newspaper and you're hearing almost